figure out the oil change. I actually forgot to start recording uh, when we started. Uh, me and my dad out here changing the oil in the car. But um, yeah, so we finally got it. We used seven quarts of this Zero W40 oil right here for the scat pack. Let me show y'all a little on the camera. On the oil cap right there. Zero W40. That's the oil they use for the scat pack. It's made for SRT, as you can see. <laughs> Orchard Platinum. Zero Orchard Platinum, day. yeah. Orchard Platinum full synthetic oil. So yeah, it holds seven quarts. Just put the last one in. Took about, what, about 20, 25 minutes. Well, it took me a little longer because it was my first time changing the oil. But it still didn't take that long. But uh, yeah, man, I forgot to record. I thought, well, I wasn't thinking about recording um, when I first started, but we're recording now, so that's all that matters. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button. SRT Toot, man, we're on the road to 2K right now. Like I said, I got the oil change. So, uh, for y'all that don't know, uh, this is the oil filter you use. You can go to the dealership. I got this from the dealership right here, Dodge dealership. You can get the part number off of it. It was like $10, 11 just an oil filter. And then I already showed y'all that oil that I use. Yeah, man, y'all see we got the car on the jack right here. I actually tried to put them on these Rhino ramps that we got, but the car's so low, like it don't even, it won't even go on the ramps. I'll show y'all when we let it back down. And you can see it like it'll, um, it'll kind of screw up right here. I didn't know these cars were this low, but they pretty low. But yeah, we got them on the jack stand right now, so it's all safe. But we done with the oil change now. So I'm gonna uh, cut it on and look at the oil life on it. It should be updated. And then also for y'all that wanna know, um, about the torque on the drain plug, it was what 25, 25 pounds of torque for the drain plug that we use. 25 used. foot pounds. 25 foot pounds of torque that we use on the drain plug to tighten it up. It was kind of like hand tighten it really, but put this on there just to be a little safe. But yeah, man, we got it done. Uh, we're ready to see. It better say 100 percent oil life now. That's what I know. But I mean, a quarter oil we had to put in. Seven, seven, yeah. seven quarts of oil. Quarts of oil. I can prop it up under here, up on the car, so they can show me. You know, just put it on like the jack stand or something. Oh, you it kind of go up. under here. That's what you prop it up, that end. Uh, it's all right. They can see me. Put the skid plate back on here. You said to keep all the dirt and stuff from the motor. Water from the bottom. Kind of protect well, I mean, Yeah, keep it out of your engine bay. I must be missing it. You gotta get it lined up. Oh yeah, this one's lined up. Right on. There you go. This is like a school too. Hey, you wanna get all four bolts started before you tighten them? Yeah. I wish I would have started recording when I first started, but I forgot. But we're gonna get what we can. All right. You see, you got you can set them. You can see, you got your jack stand. Yeah, y'all can see the jack stands under here now. So that's why I'm able to get on the car like this, because it's secure and safe. I got one more. Still kind of scared of me though. <laughs> I think that's good. Crank it now. Get my keys. Ah, uh, remote start. <laughs> you must forgot. Well, <laughs> probably a remote start with a hood up. Probably what it is. Ain't. Nah, I don't know. I don't think that had nothing to do with it. Yeah, you think so? Finna see. Show what it was, too. Dang it, it got quiet to me, but I don't know what y'all think. <laughs> but yeah, man, we just got the oil change. We're going to let it run through a little bit. We're going to take it down off the track. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is the bundle I had right here. Seven quarts of oil. Y'all can see. We got six in right here. Six of them. Then we got another one right there to make seven. Everything you're going to need, you're going to need seven quarts of oil. You're going to need a new oil filter. No oil pan, of course. Torque wrench. 13 millimeter for the um, drain plug and then brand new oil filter. That's really all you need. Other than that, pretty easy, pretty simple. Don't take long. Finally got it done. I needed the oil chain, but I needed to wash it, man. Look at this, it's crazy. These cars get so dirty, bro, with the wild body kit. Like, 
I mean, this ain't a wild about the kit now. You know, I got the official diesel. You know, we got the official diesel. But I just need to clean the thing, though. This thing is dirty. Dealership charge by what? Yeah, dealership charge by 150 for all chain. We did it ourselves for half that price, you know. You do it yourself for half that price, you know. So that's a good thing about, you know, having a, uh, tools and stuff at the house. So, yeah, shout out to my dad. He helped me out. Well, he basically showed me everything to do. That was my first time ever doing it on this car by myself. So I know how to do it now. I should be able to do the next one with nobody watching, but we'll see. But y'all see the whip, man. Hey, I think I'm finna order these badges, bro. I know I was saying I wasn't gonna do the badges, but I think I'm finna order these badges because I, it like, let me show you the car, bro. It just looks so plain. I don't know. It looked plain to me. So I'm finna have to do something. Like, I know I want to wrap it eventually, but like, I ain't got the money to do the wrap right now. So y'all need to hit that sub button right now. Give me the 10,000 subscribers, like, real quick by tomorrow. But yeah, though, like, I, I just, um, it gotta have something on it, bro, because it's like so plain right now. I don't know. I just need something on it. So yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I'm finna go find out where my daddy went because he finna have to help me get this off this jack stand because I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> now I'm just playing though, but yeah, we finna get it off the jack stand. I'm gonna pull it around the front, let y'all see it, man. Y'all see the whip though. It's just a nice little quick video. Just wanna get y'all some content while I had the car getting the oil changed. I wish I would have started recording like when we first started. Like I wasn't even thinking, bro. Like, I don't know. I wasn't even thinking about y'all, man. Y'all gotta forgive me though. But yeah, man. Uh. I'm doing too much talking, man. We're finna go ahead and get this off the jack stand. Get this part first. Ah. Oh, jack it up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Moving around to the front. I'm gonna hit my car. Yeah, I'm Yes, sir. Oh, cut off. I remote started. It got 10 minutes on. I forgot about it. Cross amount. Mm-hmm. Right there with a hole that. Zoom in. A good place to uh, jack it up. Such a jack. Yeah. I think I need to come you always up a pop, bit. You always want to pop your hood. Yeah. Locate it. You may better see if underneath the car, but sometimes you get under the car. You can see it better. I'm going to start moving it closer so you better tell me if I'm here to right go with. Yeah. Let's get up on here and see. Get on your creeper. But that's the hole right there. That's what we're going to jack it at. That's where that frame at. I mean, that little mount at, that I was showing y'all up top. Let's see. I'm trying to do is a one-on right now. Let me see if I can get it. Yep. Right there on it. All right, now I gotta get up because I can't do that. I ain't that screw. Now, let me check it one more time. So you gotta get the jack stand yep. out. It covered the hole up. Yeah, I gotta get the jack stand out. So. Yeah, we're gonna jack. Just gotta raise it up a little bit. That should be good right there. Let's see. You make them jacks hanging out, you grab it by the handle, that handle. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Oh, nah, I'll be able to get it. It's all right. Hang on. You know what? You know what? Turn into it. Got one. Now we need one more. Let's see. Get this other side. Let's let it down. Yeah. In case it falls, yeah. Got the car down. I ain't know they about the remote start though. We got the hood up. Doing remote start, y'all. Look at that motor though. Golly. Now that you got your oil chain, you don't run your car for a minute. Now we're gonna check the oil. Make sure it's yeah. Pull your oil stick. We're gonna pull it up first and wipe it. 
and we're gonna put it back down there to check the proper. So I just put it all the way and wipe the bottom of it. Wipe it all the way. And look at you. Right here. Yeah. I mean, that's a safe line. Where the fuel field line at? Might be on the... That bar. Oh, yeah, right there. Right there? Right there. That's your field line. Okay. That's where you all need to come to. And when you pull it up, we're going to pull it up and we're going to keep it level. Yeah, you going. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're going to pull it up? Yeah. Keep it level. Yep. It's on it, food yeah, line. That's it. Well, success for all chain. Yeah. Gotta move it around to the front. Y'all see the motor though, man. Six four. Gotta get that C8 next, so y'all gotta hit that sub button. I already told him, you get the C8. Oh, I don't want it all there. I mean, this. Oh, the micro. All right, we got the oil change, but it's still saying 0% because we got to reset it. So we're going to just hold OK right here. See, to reset oil, our engine must be off with ignition and run. So let me do that. Turn it off. Put it in run. Now let's see. It should come up again. All right, now. That's OK. OK, there we go. Now I can hold it. Reset it 100%. There we go. Fresh oil change, as y'all can see, 100% on the oil line. That was pretty easy, pretty simple. So now we're all good and we're ready to roll. Y'all see my new paddle shifters, man? Well, this ain't new, I did this already. Y'all already seen that, but yeah, man. Y'all see the red interior, man, with the sunroof with the nice Alcantara seats. Y'all see my gold on my wrist, man. Work at the jewelry store, but yeah, if we can put this around the front yard. And uh, there better not be nothing behind me. Back there, you know we got the big bag up camera. You know we got the big bag up camera. We can see, you know. You know. But yeah, man, y'all see the whip, man. It started raining out here, so I ain't finna do nothing crazy, man. I just wanted to make a little quick little video. Just showing y'all, man, changing the oil in the car, so. Y'all see, this was all talking about, about the badges though. Y'all let me know down in the comments. I kind of like it without the badges, like when I first got it. But now that I'm, like, I've had it a few months, probably three months now, I need something on this side right here since I don't have it wrapped yet. I need that 392 Hemi badge. It'll just, it'll bring some more red out. As you can see, I got the red Brembo brakes, man. So that little red 392 Hemi badge, it'll bring that out a little bit more. And I, I called a dealership and they talking about some 127 plus tax for each side. So I ain't know these badges was that expensive, man. I thought it was gonna be like a twenty dollar mud or something. I can just get them back. Um, but I did want the OEM badges. I don't want the you know little off brand badges. But I might have to get them because I don't know if I'm gonna pay what two sixty for some badges, man. I don't know. I might have to find some badges. Somebody took them out their old car. Somebody cutting up. Ooh, what is that? Dang. But yeah, man. Y'all see? Y'all see? Look at that charge. They cutting up in the rain. They cutting up in the rain. <laughs> but yeah, man, y'all see it though. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I appreciate y'all watching this video. I gotta get in the house, man. Finna start raining hard out here. So yeah, man, hit that sub button. We wanna roll to 2K now. So yeah, thank y'all for watching.